ask um, if you are a veteran. If you are a veteran, would you please raise your hand? military family, you have someone currently serving in the military, would you please raise your hand? Um, last night I was in Yuma, because my day job that I do, um, I was down there working with my ag staff, and I'm looking at my voicemails at 8.30 last night, and I got this, and I'm like, there's nobody in the motel room to say, yay! <laughs> um, HOHP has been, um, we've been together for three years, and just this, uh, in the last year we've become a, a nonprofit because we see how much of a need there is in Canal County to serve our veterans and military families. Our veterans, if you don't know, have to leave our county to get services. They either have to go to Tucson or they have to go to Phoenix, and that's it's not fair. Um, Canal County is doing our job. Um, we call Canal County the Donut Bowl of Arizona because all of the vet services are provided all the way around us. But we are working very hard to bring uh, more services to Canal. And uh, this uh, check. <coughs> Um, just a couple of months ago, we helped a homeless uh, veteran here in Florence with a six-month-old baby that was living in their car. Um, we put them up at the Blue Mist for two weeks while we worked to get them into some transitional housing. And they wanted to stay here in Florence, so they were housed here in Florence and they're working here in Florence. Um, we have um, housed a lot of temporary housing until we can get them settled into a home. Uh, we've helped a veteran whose service dog uh, got attacked and he was afraid that he was going to have to put his dog down. But we stepped in and, and paid the vet bill so that he could keep his dog. Um, we just don't realize how much is happening around Canal, how many homeless vets we have living in our deserts and under the bridges and in the tunnels here. I didn't know that until three years ago. And that's why I have stepped up and we have HOHP to take care of them. And if you guys uh, haven't heard, uh, we recently acquired the former Pinal County Mobile Health Clinic. And uh, we are for a dollar. <laughs> I handed them that one dollar check on Friday and we picked it up. And um, in the next three months, we're going to be working to put everything together and we will be converting it into a mobile veterans outreach uh, center that will be traveling throughout Pinal County to help provide services to our veterans. And we know that as we're traveling through, this money is really going to help um, with food boxes, um, clothing. Uh, it's, you just have no idea until you step into that arena and, and see actually what our veterans go through when they come home. And it's, it's a shame. And I just want to uh, leave one more message to you. I always say this every time I speak. Um, the warrior leaves the community to protect and serve the community. It is the moral obligation of the community to wrap their arms around that warrior when they come home to serve them. And that's been our mission for the last three years, is to make sure our vets are taken care of. And thank you to uh, Florence Copper because this is really going to help us out a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations to all three of our grant winners, and thank you for allowing Florence Copper Community Foundation to be a small part of your projects.